Hey guys, so I hope you're all doing well today. I'm super excited for this haul because it was the first time I ever ordered from ColourPop Cosmetics and I'm so excited to share everything that I got with you. Alright, so first of all I do want to start off with the packaging. As you can see this box looks incredible. I can tell that they put a lot of effort into it and then they did have it wrapped up in a lot of styrofoam and I really love that they put the effort of also putting a card in there. So this one says, Dear Rachel, remember happy girls are the prettiest. Audrey Hepburn told us so. And I just really love that they put that effort into it. I was always like, oh, I'll get it when I really feel like it or when something really sparks my interest. And I'm not going to lie, this is what really piqued my interest. And it is the Shanxo and ColourPop range. And I personally love Shannon. I wish she knew me because I think we would be best friends. No, I'm just joking. Um, I am totally, I'm going to sound like a total fangirl, uh, but yeah, I love her. She is one of the first people that I really got into on YouTube. So the Shannon box was $20, so that's basically like each eyeshadow is still 5 bucks, and then it comes up, it comes like this, so each eyeshadow is in an individual slot, which I really appreciate. Again, it's going to make sure that your eyeshadows don't get smashed. Now, these are the wonderful eyeshadows. Like I said, I have been playing around with them. And one thing I noticed when I first tried to work with these eyeshadows is they are super duper hard to open. And I think that's just because they want the product to stay really nice and it's kind of more of a wet formula. Uh, I do feel like it gets easier the more you twist the product which is great. I zoomed you in just so you can see the eyeshadows better and first of all I guess I'm going to start off with the darkest shade in the box and it is called Deluxe and it is an incredible eyeshadow. It is a dark warm brown but then it has a lot of golden shimmer running through it and it is just incredibly beautiful like when you touch these eyeshadows they are so pigmented and they do kind of feel wet it's an interesting texture for sure and this is what it swatches like it is just so beautiful like when the sun hits it it does really glisten and I feel like this would look incredible on so many different skin tones whether you have my skin tone or a darker skin tone or even lighter and I feel like you could work around with this shade and do so much with it and I just am incredibly blown away I love this shade so much it's definitely one of my favorites but it's kinda hard to pick which one is my favorite honestly um, this next shade is a matte shade and it is called Selfie so this shade is kind of interesting because when you look at it, it again kind of looks like just a warm tone brown but when I actually swatch it on myself it looks like more of a peach. So that is what it looks like right there and I will swatch it right there and can you see how it kind of has more of a peachy almost like corally undertone to it. It is really, really pretty, and I just feel like it's one of those colors that goes great with my skin tone. It will just warm it up a lot. <laughs> the other matte in the collection is called Rebel, and I think it's a really fun, unique color. Not a lot of people go for an army green or a khaki green, so I'm really glad that she put this in there just so you can experiment with it, and I think you can wear it in a bunch of different ways and just really branch out with your makeup. It is a matte color so it will be a lot easier to work with and again it just swatches so beautifully. I really love this because I do kind of have bluish greeny eyes. I do have some green in there so I just think this will make the green really pop on them. And the other thing that I wanted to really quickly mention about these eyeshadows before I forget is that they set really well. If you look at me, <laughs> if you look at what I'm doing, I'm like wiping the eyeshadows and they're like not even budging. Well, they're budging a little bit, but like, see, like, they're set so well. I love that. The last shade in the collection is called EXO. This is a really creamy golden shimmery champagne color. It looks like this. Again, it's one of the shimmer eyeshadows. It's 
absolutely amazing. Oh, I just love how pigmented it is. And I'm going to swatch it right there. It's really, really pretty. Again, it kind of has almost like a peachy undertone to it on my skin. And then I also decided to get a few more eyeshadows. Um, this one is a matte eyeshadow and the color is Bill. This is one of their new eyeshadows because I just recently got matched to their collection, I guess. This is one of a taupey, slightly pinky toned brown. Now, the thing that I find a little bit strange is that the mattes from the Shanaxo collection are a little bit more buttery and I felt like this Bill one was kind of stiff and not as buttery. It's still nice, but it's not as nice as the other ones. I don't know if it's just a dud or whatever, but this is what it looks like. It's a really nice everyday color. I don't normally go for taupes, honestly, because I just usually go for more of a light or a medium warm tone brown, and this is definitely on the cooler side, but I do like it, and I thought I would branch out with my collection and get something that I could put to good use in more cool tone looks. So the other one that I got is one that a lot of people on the website were raving about, and it was called So Quiche. It's a really interesting eyeshadow because it is kind of like a bronze shade, but then it has almost like an olive green undertone to it, and then it has a lot of pink shimmer in it, so it's really multi-dimensional. If you turn it a certain way, it will appear a different color in different lights, and it's just beautiful. It's one of those eyeshadows that you can work with a lot of different colors, and oh, Oh my gosh, this one feels so buttery and smooth. And this was what it looks like. I just think it's an absolutely beautiful shade. And when I'm seeing Bill paired next to it, I actually really like it because it pulls out the pinky purple tones of Bill. So yeah, I think I'll have to do a look with those two together. Like I said, it is incredibly beautiful and I always love duochrome shades. Like I said, this one is five bucks, so it's a really great price, especially since a lot of the higher end brands usually have duochrome eyeshadows and this would save you a lot of money. And this one is called Meow. Of course I had to get Meow because my name is Raycat90, but it was also a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. I love the marbled finish of it and it's a silver eyeshadow but then it has pink and black speckles in it but I really really like it when I wore it the other day it definitely was again a very duochrome eyeshadow sometimes it appeared silver and sometimes it appeared pink and it's just such a wonderful shade I love it and it is pretty uh, it is pretty light, but I like that, and I find it hard to find silvers that I actually enjoy. I'm just more of a gold tone girl, but when I saw this, I knew that this was instantly my favorite silver eyeshadow that I have ever used. I decided that I needed to add a color to my collection, even though I did have the army green in there. I kind of feel like that's more of a neutral color, if that makes any sense. So I decided I needed a really bright, intense pink shade. This one is called Slave to Pink. I call it my Britney Spears shade just because it reminds me of that Britney Spears song called <laughs> Slave for You. So this eyeshadow is really pretty. It's an intense fuchsia pink. It does have some bluish purpley undertones to it, so I think it would look incredible on so many different people. And this is what it looks like. It is so pigmented. I am obsessed with it. And this is what the packaging for the lippy stick looks like. I'm not going to put the lippy stick back in there because honestly it was really hard to get out. But I only got one lippy stick. I decided to try a color that is really different than the norm. You wouldn't find this at a lot of places. Um, the only places that I've heard of having similar colors are matte. But this is the color wet. I wore it in my last video if you do want to go ahead and watch that. It was an empties video. So this is a brown gray lippy and it is called a pearlized finish. It does have some shimmer in it. I'm going to swatch it right here. And you can definitely see that it has a lot of brown in it but 
Um, it does have that gray undertone to it. The other nice thing is that they do give you um, discount codes and everything, so just be on the lookout for that. Like I said, there's some incredibly beautiful pigmented eyeshadows, and I can't wait to work with these more in tutorials. I definitely will be purchasing more. I just don't know when I will be, but... I cannot wait to add to my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know what eyeshadow you really want to see in a tutorial. As always, I love you all and I'll talk to you later. Bye!